The Eternal Balance, Moth's Defenses Against the Forces of Evil and Chaos In the spiritual traditions of ancient Egypt, truth, harmony and cosmic order were fundamental principles embodied by the great goddess Maat. Her feather represented the precise equilibrium that governed all of existence, any disruption or descent into chaos and untruth was the path to spiritual imbalance and evil. To the ancient Egyptians, upholding Maat through righteous living was seen as vital for warding off negativity and gaining eternal life in the afterlife realm of peaceful, unchanging perfection. Conversely, embracing paths of wickedness, violence, injustice and falsehood was aligning oneself with destructive, demonic forces known as Isfet, the antithesis of Maat's ordered universe. The Funerary Rituals of Maat From the earliest dynastic periods, complex funerary rituals were developed to equip the deceased with the magic of Maat for their perilous journey to the realm of the immortal gods. Rites of purification using natron salt and burning sacred incenses like kaifi cleansed the soul of all pollution from Isfet. Your humble author will not be including the actual spells here in this video. Nice try Satan. But there are plenty and they will burn an evil doer's ass. Such incantations ritualize the concept of Maat as an eternal, cosmic force actively repelling all manifestations of wickedness, darkness and chaos threatening the soul's rebirth into everlasting harmony. Warding off evil spirits and demons To protect the deceased corpse and tomb from invasive spirits or demonic entities representing Isfet, formidable warding spells and amulets were deployed. As mentioned earlier, the specifics will not be mentioned in this video, or any other video I create, that knowledge is not for everyone. The Unholy Adversaries While the Egyptians did not have a direct equivalent to the Christian concept of Satan, they did personify forces that disrupted the eternal order of Maat as malevolent spiritual entities, such as Apep, Set, Sefku and others. Ancient texts explicitly depict Ra and Maat spiritually obliterating so-called dark forces and restoring Maat's supremacy over the churning primal abyss of Isfet every day at dawn. So by magically aligning our ancestors with the principles of Maat, the great spiritual mother force of reality itself, the ancient, and some modern day, Martian high priests equipped them to withstand and defeat the legions of chaotic demons, evil spirits and powers of disorder that would seek to corrupt their immortal souls. A stern warning. For those who would dare pursue the unrighteous dark arts aligned with Isfet's profane energies, the ancient Egyptians had this solemn warning from the coffin texts. Of course, I won't be disclosing the actual spell, let's just say those that wish to try their luck, will find themselves totally and permanently screwed and there isn't anything you can do about it, like that guy at the end of that movie The Mummy. It's a good movie, watch it, the end for that guy is pretty accurate, your end will be worse, you will wish you could die. In conclusion, while the ancient Egyptian spiritual path revered cosmic harmony, it also clearly defines strict boundaries and punishments for any who transgress by delving into the profane forces of evil that the great Maat and her disciples were dedicated to defeating across all levels of existence. An ordered universe could not allow the unchecked spread of Isfet's unraveling darkness. Ankh, Yuja, Senab. Life, Strength, Health, Learn, Like, and Subscribe. Copyright 2024 Kenneth Money All Rights Reserved. Mott's Feather of Truth is a registered trademark of Project Mott Publishing, Chicago, Illinois.